Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you the DJI Mavic 3 and its nighttime capabilities. Got the quadcopter flying right here. We've got a spotlight turning on. Pretty cool. So first off, it's got a pretty nice little spotlight. And it can light up a pretty wide area. As you can see, it's pitch black out here and yet you still see pretty good with this thing. All right, so I just wanted to show off the spotlight real quick before we get to this thing. So now let's get to the drone itself. All right, we are now on the drone and you can see it with the spotlight on, spotlight off. All right, so let's just do some tests in auto settings first. So we'll go up to a height of about 100 feet and we'll just take a tip take a picture of these lights over here my neighbor walking over there let's see how these look like and as you can see it already looks pretty good you can see everything relatively well and that was with the auto this is a low res but that's okay so let's take a picture of just the sky with the, see how that looks I'm gonna point it away from the city All right, let's see how that looks. Well, you can see a couple stars, it's pretty cool. All right, so now let's start to mess the manual settings. Last time I tried to make this video, I completely and utterly messed it up, but this time I'll be able to do it good. I, I had the aperture set super high, so it completely messed everything up so let's start with a real simple one we'll go one second iso let's keep the iso low we'll have iso 100 uh, this doesn't want me let's see what happens if i bring the image no it doesn't want me to bring the image at all yeah that's because of the light low iso uh, let's go back down low okay let's just start it off with a two second and 1600. That way we'll have nice low, let's see what's over here, oh that's nothing. We'll have a nice low grain image. So here's our first picture. As you can see, it's a bit brighter than the other one. Which is pretty cool. All right, let's take a picture of the stars now. So we have it set at a two second aperture. We got a bunch of cars driving by right now. And you can see a lot more stars. You got those few stars, and now we got a lot of stars. All right, now let's go to the heavy hitter. And let's bring it up to a four second. Bring it down so you can see a lot of stuff. Four second aperture. What does this gotta say about that? There we go. And I'll just do double this time, so I'll take also take a picture of the stars. All right, let's have a look see at that. There we go. Four second aperture. Now you can see a lot more detail. The light really is getting absorbed. And those bugs are so annoying. You'll probably find it and scared off the drone, but man. You can already see a lot more light, so let's go to the night. And there is a lot more stars now. That's pretty cool. All right, now the moment everybody's been waiting for. Six seconds. I'm not gonna do eight seconds yet. Let's save that. All right, so now we're at a six second shutter. Let's have that go. Got to wait six seconds. I got to stay pretty still. I'll take another one up here because the camera, the drone works off of GPS and the remote. So if you stay still, the cameras will be more stable. The pictures will be more stable. Okay, 
Also for reference, this is no moonlight. It's all starlight. There is no moon whatsoever. The moon's gone. All right, now here we go. And got a little shaky. Might have to retake that picture. A little shaky there also. Let's try that again. Let me just recenter that. Let's just get out of focus. All right, let's take another picture right here. I'll keep it nice and still and stay nice and still. What's this doing right here? There, it was kind of tweaking it out. All right. All right, everything's still the same, so let's give that a try. I don't know, it was just tweaking out there for a second. All right, now let's get the sky shot. Huh. Not letting me go all the way to 35. Oh, there's a little bit of wind now. Oh, man. That is not what I need. Huh? Did a better job. You can see everything's still slightly blurry, but it is a lot brighter than this one. Definitely see it's brighter. Let's look at the stars. Oh, wow. That's a lot of stars. That's really cool. Those are all only low res. All right. Now, the moment everybody's been waiting for. Let's see, there's a good spot to take it. Get my house right there. I'll just go like right here. That'll look good. Yeah, right here. All right, the moment everybody's been waiting for. Eight second shutter. Gotta stay nice and still. And it's almost done. Seven, eight. There we go. Oh, we saw it moved. I'm just going to take a second one. I'm going to set my remote down just to make sure it's perfectly still. And let it take the picture. Let's see what it's at now. Let's see if it stayed still. It should be exactly the same frame. There, that one looks good. Now let's take one of the stars. I have the controller sitting on the ground now, so it's going to be a lot more stable. We should see a better image. And there we go. Let those render. Okay. First one, yeah, like I thought, a little blurry. The second one. Oh, wow. That is, that is superb. That's crazy looking. This is only off starlight. And look at all those stars. That's pretty cool. It's funny though, now at this point you can see the stars moving just a little bit from that whole eight seconds. All right, now let's max out the settings. Let's turn ISO all the way to max. This will be the brightest image we can possibly get. So let's bring it back down over here. Take a picture. Gotta wait the eight seconds now. So this will be as bright as it possibly can be. This is maxing out all the settings. I don't know if white balance would affect anything. You can leave that in the comments and I might be able to retest that. But for now, I don't understand that. Well, I know how it works. I just don't know how it would work for this. So let's, okay, let's just do this last one and let it take, just give it a minute. And that should be our star picture. All right, now let's have a look-see. And, oh wow. Ooh, it got mega blurry. Oh, but the stars look pretty good. Right, let's try that again. So I'll start with the star one. I have the remote sitting on the ground, make sure it's perfectly still. I'm gonna let the drone sit for a second. Now let's go down to the, this one. We'll take it. Let's try and get. You know, just we'll have to leave the background in just for quality purposes. And there we go. 
picture is taking. Let's see how it turns out. Three, two, one. Good enough for me. All right. And there we go. That is, that is a nutty picture. Oh gosh, my dog's. <laughs> Sorry about that. My dog walked up and scared the crud out of me. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Oh, sorry about that. Let me just go back. I was just sitting down here, minding my own business. Let me just turn on the light, and see if you can see me a little bit. I was just down here. I'm sitting on the ground. My dog came up and scared the crud out of me. <laughs> All right, let's go back up there. That was funny. All right, now let's look at that last one. Got still a little bit of blur to it. That is unfortunate. Let's try that again. Don't know why that happened. Let's try that again. So, remote, sit on the ground, make sure the drone's nice and still. Picture. Give it a good moment. We have perfect connection. Picture's taken. Now let's look. There we go, oh wow. Now you can see my neighbor house. Wow. That looks crazy. Almost looks like a daytime picture. That's really cool. So let's see, this will be interesting looking. I'll take a picture with them in it. So let's take that now. And we should see a line going wherever they go. So that'll look kind of cool. Or it'll look really weird. Let's have a look at that now. Yep, just like I thought. That's actually kind of cool looking. But you can see that little bit of light they left there was enough for me. That is actually really cool. All right, so that was the look at the camera. And your camera is going to be the best bet when looking through this thing because let's do, let's just do it one directly down. It'll be looking at me and I'll just stay still. Let's see, I'll get it so it's about directly over me. Let's see. Yeah, that should be good there. So I'm going to sit there. Camera down, I got to sit still. All right, I'm sitting still. I'm letting that thing take the picture. That eight seconds is nuts. Give it a second. All right, now let's have a look at that. And oh, wow, there I am, a little blur. But you can see a lot. The lights from my house look super bright. That's crazy. That's just really cool. All right, now let's go to video. I'm kind of curious, oh. And now, now you don't see very much. <laughs> Let's try and turn it up. Does that help at all? Not really. Let's go to manual just for fun sakes. Everything's already at max. Let's see, what happens if I adjust the white balance? No, 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 no. I mean, it's kind of cool looking, but for what I do, or what I'm doing for this, not so much. All right, well, so let's just see that it's pretty much already setting it like that. Yep. I mean, it does get remarkably good video. And this is 24 frames. The higher the frame rate, as you might imagine, the higher the lower the darkness you can take. Every frame I go, the darker the picture gets. Mm 
Oops. So now, oops. So we're at 4K. Now let's go to slow motion. And you can see it's even darker. Yep. Yep. So the video, I mean, it looks pretty good, but you can't see all that much. Yep. Let's see if you can still see me. Yep, you can still see me. Let's see what it looks like through the Explorer lens. It is. So let's focus directly on me. Zoom it in a bit. You can see that's what we're looking at right now. Yep. You can see I'll put my hand in front of it. Block it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was an interesting thing. I didn't think the video was going to perform that well. You know what? Let's just try to take a little video. I'll do it in 1080p at 24 frames so we can get a little idea. Add a little video of that. Yep, see these over here, and bring it over to here. All right, now let's download that video. No, I don't need to download it. I mean, it is a little bit brighter, but not that much brighter. Yeah, that's what we thought. I mean, you can see it's a little bit brighter, but. Not all that much brighter. Let's see what these look like when you put the second lens on. Oops. So, so this, this is a half inch sensor when you go to the second camera. So this is what a Mavic Air would see. A Mavic Air 2, but not the 2S. But this would be like a Mavic Air 2 or the Mini 2. And then when you turn it off, this is what the uh, this is what the full sensor sees, the big three four. So you can see it does see a lot more, which is for sure. So go back to my normal settings. All right, well, that was a pretty much as much of a test as I can do right now. I mean, the last thing I can do, no, that won't even work, is I could go like this. Oops. Uh, let's go to camera let's get some zoom on One, two, three. Oh, you can see a star let's take a picture see how this looks so this is this thing's auto so let's just have it make it as bright as possible all right and we'll let that give a picture and see how it turns out I, oh it's taking it's taking a pretty long picture all right let's have a look Oh, okay, I actually am surprised. You can still see quite a few stars. I am very surprised, that is cool. All right, so let's give a, let's turn this off. So let's look at something like, uh, let's try this house right here. I'll try my house, how about that? Yeah. Zoom it in. One, two, three. And get this. Let's see if this can make this look any cleaner. All right, I'll take the picture. Oh, it came out right away. Yeah. That's pretty much as good as it's gonna look. Oh wait, no, it looks really good. You can see the tomato things. That's that's cool. Yeah, that is impressive. That's what that whatever EV. I don't know what EV stands for. Comment down below. What EV stands for, or I'll just look at myself. So let's not have it turn the brightness up. So this is probably what this will see here. You 
can definitely see that brighten it up a lot. And it doesn't look like it was actually digital. It looks like it, it might be digital though. Oh well. All right, so you can even use it, that lens at night, which is pretty sweet. All right, so that pretty much and this I'll just take one more picture just to have it just to have one for keeps I'll let that take a picture there it's too bad the Big Dipper is right above me right take a picture of that let's see where's the little dipper Can't see a little different from here. So let's have a look at this. And look at that. That's pretty darn cool looking. You can see almost every. You can see pretty much everything. And this is pitch black. I, my eyes. That sees way better than what my eyes can see right now. I can't see any of that. That's pretty amazing. All right. So let's let's look at the stars one last time. See if I can see any with the drone itself. Oh, there's one. There's a couple. So I'll take a picture here. You probably are gonna get some really bright ones. Oh, mosquitoes. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I can find the little dipper. But I don't I don't see it right now. I might be missing it. Oh, if you're just wondering, the big dipper is a star constellation. Same thing with the Little Dipper. So let's have a look at this. Oh wow. Oh, look at that little shooting star. That is amazing. I'm gonna take another one of those, just, just because those look too awesome. Oh, I'm gonna download that real quick. I'm gonna download this one just so we can see, it's, see it in it's all its beauty. go wow that just looks really cool all right I'm gonna get another one and let's just move it to right here let's see where is this compared to my house so we're looking towards that way which is almost the turn right here yes okay I have my camera that'll probably be not very good because I didn't have my remote stable Let's see. Let's see what we get though. It might it might still look good. It might still look good. Yeah, I didn't have my remote very stable. And the more stable you are. You see it's a little blurry, but it still looks good. That's that's just really crazy. It's still I can't believe how good of a picture the thing takes. That's pretty nuts. All right, so after this is done, I'm gonna download this and download it and look at that. That was actually like the best one we took in the night sky. But look at that picture though. That looks so stinking good. You can see so many stars. Wow. All right, well, I'm gonna end the video here. The DJI Mavic 3 performs amazingly at night. I can't believe how well it performs. And the fact that it's quiet, you don't really bug the neighbors too much. You might bug them a little bit, but it's, it's really quiet. Like right now, it's only a couple hundred feet above me, and I'm still able to record with just the light humming there. Like it's 152 feet. And there's the dogs behind me, and they scared me again. <laughs> All right, I am going to end the video here. I'll land it myself, but for now, I'm just gonna end it. Thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Comment down below if you wanna see anything else, because uh, I'm probably gonna do another range test just because everybody's been telling me to go nice and slow, use the regular setting, and that'll be good. So I'm gonna try that, but for now, I'm just, I'm just going to have this video up and I don't know what I'll make next. So if you guys have any questions,
feel free to ask me and I'll make a video on them. Okay, well, on, on the video here. Bye.